In this video, we'll uncover the seven major causes of iron deficiency and how to treat it naturally. Iron deficiency is a health condition that creeps up when your body is running low on iron, a vital mineral that plays a crucial role in the production of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin, a protein in your red blood cells, is responsible for carrying oxygen to your body's tissues. So you can imagine if your iron levels are low, your body can't make enough healthy, oxygen-carrying red blood cells, leading to symptoms like fatigue, weakness, and difficulty concentrating. But don't worry, we'll reveal the major signs shortly. And make sure you stick around till the end of the video, where we reveal the number one major cause of iron deficiency. So buckle up and get ready for a deep dive into the world of iron and its importance to your health. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Starting with the first cause, blood loss is a major contributor to iron deficiency. But how does blood loss lead to iron deficiency, you ask? Well, the answer lies in the role that iron plays in our bodies. Iron is a key component of hemoglobin, the protein in our red blood cells that carries oxygen from our lungs to the rest of our body. When we lose blood, we also lose the iron contained in those red blood cells. Now let's delve into some common causes of blood loss. One such cause is heavy menstrual periods. Women with heavy periods lose more blood than usual and hence more iron. This can lead to iron stores being depleted faster than they can be replenished, resulting in iron deficiency. Another cause of blood loss is ulcers, specifically peptic ulcers. These are sores that develop in the lining of your stomach, upper small intestine, or esophagus. When these ulcers bleed, they can result in a significant loss of iron over time. But blood loss isn't just about visible bleeding. There can also be cases of hidden or occult blood loss. This usually occurs when there's bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract, often due to conditions like gastritis, hemorrhoids, or even colorectal cancer. This type of bleeding may not be obvious, but can still lead to significant iron loss over time. So, what does this all mean? It means that if you're experiencing heavy menstrual periods, or if you have a condition that causes chronic blood loss, you could be at risk of iron deficiency. It's important to recognize these risk factors and seek medical advice if you suspect you might be deficient in iron. Now that we understand how blood loss can cause iron deficiency, let's move on to the next cause. The second major cause of iron deficiency is dietary insufficiency. Iron is a critical component of our diet, playing a pivotal role in the production of hemoglobin, a protein in our red blood cells responsible for carrying oxygen throughout our bodies. Without adequate iron, our bodies can't produce enough healthy oxygen-carrying red blood cells, leading to iron deficiency. The foods we eat have a significant impact on our iron levels. Iron-rich foods are a key part of a healthy diet and are especially important for maintaining our iron stores. These foods include lean meats, seafood, beans, dark green leafy vegetables like spinach, dried fruit such as raisins and apricots, and iron-fortified cereals, breads, and pastas. However, not everyone's diet includes sufficient amounts of these iron-rich foods. People who follow a vegetarian or vegan diet, for instance, may struggle to get enough iron as the body absorbs iron from animal sources more effectively than from plant sources. This doesn't mean it's impossible to get sufficient iron from a plant-based diet, but it does require careful planning and consideration. Similarly, people with specific dietary restrictions or those who simply don't consume a varied diet may also be at risk of iron deficiency due to dietary insufficiency. It's not just about eating iron-rich foods, but also ensuring you're absorbing that iron effectively. Consuming foods rich in vitamin C, for example, can help improve iron absorption. On the other hand, certain substances can inhibit iron absorption. These include tannins found in tea and coffee, calcium from dairy products, and phytates present in whole grains and legumes. Therefore, it's not just about what you eat, but also when and how you eat it. In conclusion, dietary insufficiency is a significant cause of iron deficiency. It underscores the importance of a balanced, iron-rich diet in maintaining our health and wellness. But remember, diet is just one piece of the puzzle. Keeping a balanced diet is crucial to prevent iron deficiency. Let's explore the third cause. Certain medical conditions can also lead to iron deficiency. Now let's delve a little deeper into this aspect. Iron, an essential nutrient, is required for the production of hemoglobin a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout the body. When your body is deficient in iron, it can't produce enough of these oxygen-carrying red blood cells. Some medical conditions can interfere with your body's ability to absorb or use iron, resulting in a deficiency. Take, for instance, celiac disease. This is an autoimmune disorder where the ingestion of gluten leads to damage in the small intestine. 
the damaged intestine is less capable of absorbing nutrients, including iron, which can lead to a deficiency. It's not just about the lack of iron intake, but also about how well your body can absorb and utilize it. Similarly, Crohn's disease, an inflammatory bowel disease, can also lead to iron deficiency. This condition causes inflammation of your digestive tract, which can lead to severe diarrhea, abdominal pain, fatigue, and weight loss. The inflammation often extends deep into the layers of the bowel tissue, which can prevent the proper absorption of iron and other nutrients. These are just two examples, but there are many other medical conditions that can interfere with iron absorption. These include gastritis, certain types of cancer, and even surgeries like gastric bypass which alter the digestive system. What's important to understand here is that iron deficiency isn't always a simple matter of not getting enough iron in your diet. It can also be a symptom of a more complex underlying health issue. And while dietary changes and supplements can help, it's crucial to address these underlying conditions to effectively combat iron deficiency. So, if you're struggling with symptoms of iron deficiency like fatigue, weakness, and poor concentration, it's worth discussing with your healthcare provider. They can help identify if a medical condition is contributing to your deficiency and guide you towards the appropriate treatment. Understanding these medical conditions can help in preventing iron deficiency. Let's move on to cause number four. Pregnancy is our fourth major cause of iron deficiency. When a woman is pregnant, her body undergoes remarkable changes to support the growing life within her. One of these changes involves a significant increase in her body's demand for iron. This increase is necessary to ensure the production of sufficient hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells that transports oxygen to the body's tissues. During pregnancy, the volume of a woman's blood can increase by up to 50%, which in turn, increases her need for iron. If the woman's diet does not provide enough iron to meet this increased demand, she can develop an iron deficiency. Furthermore, the developing fetus also requires iron for its growth, particularly during the second and third trimesters. This additional demand for iron can deplete a woman's iron stores, leading to iron deficiency. Pregnancy, therefore, requires special attention to nutrition, including iron. Now, on to our fifth cause. We've covered four major causes of iron deficiency. Let's discuss the remaining three and then move on to natural treatments. Our bodies are amazing systems that perform numerous functions every day. However, sometimes, certain factors can disrupt this harmony and lead to health issues like iron deficiency. We've already discussed how blood loss, dietary insufficiency, medical conditions, and pregnancy can lead to iron deficiency. Now let's delve into the remaining three causes. Increased iron requirements, absorption issues, and certain medications. When our bodies undergo significant changes or stress, they may require more iron than usual. This is especially true during periods of rapid growth, such as adolescence, and during intense physical activity. If the increased demand isn't met, iron deficiency can ensue. Absorption issues can also play a significant role. Iron is absorbed in our intestines. However, conditions like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, or surgical procedures that affect the intestines can limit our body's ability to absorb iron, leading to deficiency. Lastly, certain medications can interfere with iron absorption. These include proton pump inhibitors used for heartburn and antacids which can reduce the amount of iron our bodies can absorb from the food we eat. Now that we've covered the causes, let's move on to natural treatments for iron deficiency. First on the list is dietary changes. Including iron-rich foods in your diet can significantly boost your iron levels. Red meat, poultry, and fish are excellent sources of heme iron a type of iron that our bodies can absorb easily. Vegetarians and vegans can opt for lentils, beans, and spinach, which are rich in non-heme iron. Combining these with foods high in vitamin C, like oranges and bell peppers, can enhance iron absorption. Iron supplements can also be incredibly helpful. They provide a concentrated dose of iron and are especially beneficial for those who struggle to get enough iron from their diet. However, they should be used under the guidance of a healthcare provider to avoid iron toxicity. Other natural methods include cooking in cast iron pans, which can increase the iron content of your food and avoiding tea or coffee with meals, as they can inhibit iron absorption. With these natural treatments, managing iron deficiency becomes more manageable. Let's wrap up. We've covered the seven major causes of iron deficiency and how to treat it naturally. To recap, these causes range from blood loss, dietary insufficiency, certain medical conditions to an increased need for iron during pregnancy. 
The importance of understanding these causes cannot be overstated, as iron plays a crucial role in our bodies, influencing everything from our energy levels to cognitive functions. Remember, blood loss, whether it's from an injury or a medical condition like heavy menstrual cycles, can deplete your iron levels. Dietary insufficiency, on the other hand, is when your intake of iron-rich foods is not enough to meet your body's needs. Certain medical conditions can also interfere with your body's ability to absorb or use iron effectively, while the increased iron requirements during pregnancy can lead to a deficiency if not properly managed. Now, as we've discussed, there are several natural ways to treat iron deficiency. These include incorporating more iron-rich foods into your diet such as lean meats, beans, and leafy green vegetables. Regular exercise can also help enhance your body's ability to absorb iron. However, in some cases, iron supplements may be necessary to restore healthy iron levels. It's important to note that while these treatments can be effective, they should not replace professional medical advice. If you're experiencing symptoms of iron deficiency like fatigue, weakness, or difficulty concentrating, it's crucial to seek medical attention. Your healthcare provider can diagnose the issue, determine its cause, and recommend the most effective treatment plan for you. Thank you for joining us in this informative journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.